stop worrying, said Brother Bear. School is fun. You'll like it. Now let's get going, or we'll miss the bus. He grabbed her hand, and away they went. Every so often, the bus stopped, and more bears climbed on. Most of them were excited like brother, but some of the smaller ones were quiet like sister. As more and more old friends climbed on, they got noisier and noisier, and the smaller ones got quieter and quieter. The little bear who sat next to sister began to look worried, so she smiled at him and held his hand. had fixed the roof and painted the trim and cut the grass and Miss Honeybear's kindergarten room looked beautiful. Everything was ready. Before very long, the kindergartners got noisy. Two of them wanted to play with the same dog truck. Two others wanted to look at the same book. to play with the blocks. What a commotion. Suddenly, a loud, jolly voice called out, Story done. Miss Honeybear was calling the class to the book corner. That quieted things down. After the story, Sister tried everything. She painted a picture. Helped build a block city. fun. And off they went in the 
You certainly seem to be having fun. Oh yes, said sister. I had a lot of fun. A little bossy and a little braggy. The next morning, bright and early, the phone rang. It was sister's new
this is going to be fun, thought Sister Bear as she began sitting her toys on the boxes. That's when she heard the tapping sound. It was Lizzie tapping on the desk. She had a pretend pointer in one hand and a piece of chalk in the other. Please be seated, Sister. It's time for your lesson. letter of the alphabet is. Now wait just a minute, protested sister, who said you were going to be teacher. When I play school, I'm the teacher, and not only that, I already know my ABCs. Sister Bear, if you don't sit down this minute, I'm going to keep you after school, said Lizzie. Is that so, shouted sister? Well, if you don't give me that pointer, I'm going to keep you after school. That's when sister sister took all her dolls and went home. She forgot her teddy, she said. And well, I knew it was her special favorite that she slept with since she was a baby, and I thought she might miss it. Why, thank you, Lizzie, said Mama. That was very thoughtful of you. Thank you very much, said sister, hugging her teddy. And you can be teacher if you want to, said Lizzie. Or, said sister, we can take turns being said Lizzie. Great, said sister, gathering up her doll and stuffed animals again. Last one back in your garage is a rotten egg. And off she's 